get yourself a copy of the free GDoc Creator. It lets you create, print, and view your Microsoft Office Docs to PDF or XPS. Download a copy right now at butterscotch.com slash GDoc. That's butterscotch.com slash GDoc. Welcome back to our special Butterstash.com 10-part series on desktop tax preparation with Tax Act. In this segment, we've reached the point where we're at the federal Q&A tab. This is the tab where you enter your information for your federal taxes, information you've gotten from W-2s, 1099s, and so on. In Tax Act, you can click here for step-by-step -step guidance through this section, or you can select topics yourself. Once again, you must keep in mind that the pages you'll see will vary depending on your personal requirements. There's places here for itemized and standard deductions including medical and dental, taxes paid, interest expenses, and so on. So you go through this, put in the information from your W-2s, 1099s, investment income, business income, and so on. You click on this, you can enter W-2 information, say if it belongs to you or to a spouse, you can see that it doesn't stop you if you fail to enter information. If you're a minister, remember the clergy, you can check that. So you can keep going through this section until you've completed all the portions that apply to you. And here it gives you a summary, your income examiner, education, other adjustments, itemized deductions, so when you get here, you have your deductions lined up, shows your standard deductions and exemption allowance are already in, and then you get your credit examiner page. So this is all very handy to help you walk through estimated tax, we'll say no, underpayment penalty, federal tax summary, you can print the return, you can go to the next step and review it, you can go back. And if you want, you can go to the state Q&A tab. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all the parts.